Police in Brantford are investigating a rash of break-ins, not just in one neighborhood, but all around town. News HGF Allen has the latest with how police are seeking to catch their suspects. You know, anytime we see a, a, you know, an uptick, uptick in burglary and thefts, it, it becomes an issue and an alarm for us. Roughly 30 home burglaries and car break-ins in a month, alarming enough for Brantford police to issue a public bulletin Wednesday. The car breaks have been spread out, the thieves going after cash and electronic items such as GPSs. The burglaries have targeted mostly jewelry and other personal effects, some near the center of town. We're starting to notice some commonalities within the burglaries as far as location. It looks like the thief or thieves have been using a rather low-tech strategy of going after unlocked cars, even with the windows open. But Brantford police have a few tactics of their own that you won't just find anywhere. And many times we're able to uh, to attach suspects or people that are found in the immediate area of burglaries either before or after the crime and link them back to a burglary using the DNA. Captain Jeffrey Morgan says Brantford is the only police department in the state that uses a DNA database for crimes of this nature coupled with a data-driven system to make the town a foolish place for thieves and burglars to ply their trade. Well, certainly, if you're coming to Brantford, you know, the, the likelihood is that you're going to be caught at some particular point. A faith echoed among the populace. Very, very confident. We've always had great dealings with the Brantford police. They've always been very forthcoming. We have an excellent police department. You know, they're great. In Brantford, Jeff Ballin, News 8. And Brantford police are urging everybody to lock the doors and windows to their homes and cars. And if they notice any suspicious people or activity in the area, to give them a call right away.